Look at that head. Yeah. You yeah, we should look at that. Yeah, it's a cusk eel. Might 40 centimeters. Hover there. So these, yeah, are bottom feeding, benthic feeding fish. And hey, where are you going? They have protrusible mouths. When they open their mouth to feed on something, it's like their mouth extends out like, of their mouth hole. Uh, it's it's crazy. Like a goblin shark? Yeah, exactly. Kind of like that. Uh, I didn't know that. They're mandible. Ooh, look at them go. Sure, mandible. That's yeah, the they just they look like the bobbly heads of the fish world. <laughs> I could see that. Yeah, they're pretty it's much like all head, aren't body they? And a <laughs> big head. If we could zoom even closer on the on the head, I don't know how. Yeah, yeah I should totally be taking this picture. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's better ideas. Oh, oh, that is good picture. Yep. The fish biologists are gonna love us. You got them. They're good. Wow. Look at the detail there. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's great. Whatever little things they can find uh, on the seafloor. Look, uh, Look at that yeah. head. That's a great shot. It's nice. a lot more like. So you can see the little. You see the barbels on the bottom of their chins. Those are modified fins that allow them to sense around on the seafloor a bit and find food too. Very tadpole-looking body. He's it really is very close. Tadpole. Like a tadpole. Okay. Yeah, we can. It was great shots. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. It looked a little iridescent Bro. too. Nice job. Yeah, your those ones on the head must be so good too. So this is a sponge stock with ophioroids, crinoids, so two different kinds of echinoderms, as well as a couple different species of anemone. So oh yeah, that's a hydroid. Too. Yeah, the hydroid crinoid yeah. on the stock. Is that what you're seeing too? Yeah, the yeah. stocked hydroid. I, I think those hydroids might make their own stocks. Huh. I've seen hydroids on stalks before, and I've thought they were worm tubes, but I'm pretty sure that they are also capable of making their own stalks. Nice shot. I mean, there, we know there are hydroids that are capable of making their own colonies. They don't need to encrust or attach to anything on substrate. So these are ophiocanthid brittle stars, I'm pretty sure, with long, long spines on their arms. Flytrap anemone, that's the big one in the middle. And a bunch of smaller anemones on top. All right, if we can kind of float up slowly, I will take a photo with the dill cam. Perfect. Good. Yeah, happy? All right, got it. Cool. Nice. Awesome. Great picture. We're not going to try to sample, are we? I don't know, Hughes, but just want to get some sort of uh, sea stars. All right, well, we can if Steve we said it's eating a brazingid. That's a fun word. Brazingid. No, just get good images. Okay. And you Come are around. on it. I have turned into paparazzi. <laughs> Ooh, I'll put a highlight up. Yeah, leave them alone while they're eating, you know. What's a brazingid? It's a starfish. Yeah, so like, it's a starfish eating another starfish. <gasps> oh. He said this might be a first. Oh. Ooh. Do we know what type of star this is? Hungry. Wow. That is gorgeous stuff. I give it some high marks here, Maranke. This is pretty. <laughs> I'm wondering how I can be so perfect. It looks so fuzzy. <laughs> they have a lot of little, like, spiky S little... Sensors. Yeah, they're related to anglerfish. Oh, okay. They have a lore that's not as, like, pronounced as the typical anglerfish. Wow, cool. That's great. Very beautiful, very powerful. Look at that. Um, yeah, it's taller than Herc. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> it's like half a meter taller than Herc. Yeah, there's another I one there, too. Put it as, that's just wow. species. That yellow coral in the middle of the screen is really cool looking. Yeah, it is cool, yeah. That's a primnoid. It's amazing. A nice close up of Herc. Let's stop it. Oh uh, yeah, that's, Adam, great. that's that's the way right there. What a great shot! No closer, back away! Ah. <laughs> Don't knock it over. I'm just flying off Atlanta view right now. <laughs> it's really weird. I know. It's great though. Good shot. All right. oh. Amazing. All right. Yeah, Jonathan's gonna love that. That's a lot of shots. That's for you, great. Jonathan.
I just got bamboozled by the tether too, Annabelle. <laughs> bamboozled. Oh, bamboozled. <laughs> <laughs> See what you did there. All right. Nice. Things are growing real big up here. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Like the, this the is a highlight here. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Highlight, highlight, highlight. For you, four or five, you think? Yeah, it's a four. <laughs> four point two. I can't do points. Wow. Look at four this. Four comma two. Spectacular. They're huge. Wow. These are all bamboo. Looks so would you say you guys call this rock as being bamboozled? Is that the... <laughs> oh, and oh, the yellow, I mean, so amped it. They are so cool. ambitious. Yeah. Growing on the colony. Are those... Wow, look at this thing. These are, are those black red things coral? crinoids? Is that what they're called? We got crinoids, yeah. Crinoids. Got it. They're it's like a garden. Chrysogorgids as well. Wow. Look at this thing. I think we just keep going around this the whole rest of the day. Yeah. <laughs> just do a bunch of circles, wow. put a bunch of wraps yeah. together. It's fine. My goodness, that's gorgeous. It's uh, Gonia Sterit here. So do you, are these really old corals, you think? Because they're so big? Yes. Yeah. They should be really old. They grow between, I think, one and two centimeters per year. Per year. Oh, right here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no worries. It's one of those things. You see these from a mile away after you've trained your eyes to look for them. This is a hermit crab. I oh! Think, with a one of those zoanthid backpacks. Oh, zoanthids, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so zoanthids. you want to get this zoom, but also you're going to be fighting Atalanta a bit, so it's going to be a little bit jerky. It's moving just because of the bit. stretch. I'm going to come down a bit. Okay, and thanks. And hopefully that'll give you some more, but. Awesome. Appreciate it. It's a fancy crab. See where the crabs with backpacks, homolid crabs? They are not. They're, no. uh, oh, these are so cool. I think they're Parapaguridae, I think, is the family. Hmm. Yeah, that's Parapaguridae, so cool. I think, yeah. There you go. Five rays. Parapaguridae um, is the family. Parapaguridae. What's the most um, zoanthids you've seen on the back? Okay, for Zoom. Uh, five. It's, it's yeah. strange. Yeah, you don't see usually more than five. That's cool. It looks That's like cool. a glove. Like. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there's a spiral coral. Here? We can absolutely Ooh. look at this <laughs> one. Big These are my spirals. favorites. Beautiful. Eridogorgia. Yes. It's beautiful. Dave, do whatever you think is best. Beautiful cinema can. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow, that's gorgeous stuff. I like these so much. Now that's the glamour shot. What's the name of this? Iridogorgia. It's also called the firework coral. Yeah, right down the middle. Yeah. That's my favorite with this. Extreme close up. That's wow. really cool. <laughs> Making wow. Dave work for it. <laughs> <laughs> Focus challenge, I'll tell you. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. That all was right. a very nice shot. So are th these are all different. All polyopter. Multiple sponges, all kind of yeah, clustered together. Yeah, on that same rock. Who it's knows? Like something it seems like they'd be fighting yeah. for location there. Yeah, the so one right. in the back might not get as much. That's so beautiful, yeah, for the good them. shot. Yeah. That's so <laughs> these, if we're looking at these 10 centimeter lasers. If you wanted to get like a pirouette around it. Yeah, that would go, be I would advise cool. going uh, to your right so I can uh, come around. Okay. Yeah, if we could dance around it a little, that'd be awesome. I love the ballet terms, a little pirouette around the sponges. Great shots. Oh yeah, there you go, high sail. Yeah, that's awesome. So is, is that the focus good? Is that apparent yeah. damage up on top of that one? Sure. Yeah, I don't know why that one is growing that way. Or <clears throat> <laughs> oh, oh this good. is awesome. 
just for kicks. If you want, you can zoom in on Atlanta too, just for kicks. Since we're moving, we got nowhere to go. And the Ferrades in the back. Just such a nice assemblage. Fish. Um, yeah, that, we haven't yeah, seen a lot of fish. Nice. If we could zoom on the fish. Yeah. That's a, um, a rat tail. Oh, that's a great bitty, zoom. Bitty, nice. Bitty, bitty rat tail. Aww. Don't move. It All right, looks, don't move. Don't move fishy. It looks like uh, Kumba, K-U-M-B-A. Oh, yeah. And Cory Phenoides, if you remember my friend Cory Phenoides. Uh, oh, you would know it. Yes. Oh. Cory, you made that's that up. That's, that's, not that's, not a, that's not a thing. That's the one I was trying to remember. Yes. Cory Phenoides? Cory yeah. Phenoides? Cory, Cory Phenoides. I don't even know if that's a, a rat tail, but it's a bigger it's a bigger one. But I love the Kumba because they just look like miniature Cory Phenoides. Very cool. Is that a jelly? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm going to get it with the laser. Oh. So hard to get that focus tank. Stop hang. moving. What you doing? It's like he doesn't want to be on camera. Yeah, it's probably. He's, 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 he's I can see him. I can see him. He's there. He's there. Pretty, almost impossible to even see it. Yeah. yeah. What is that? Any ideas? Uh, what kind of jelly? I yeah. don't. I don't know. Is he eating something? Oh my it goodness! Looks like I like a globe, like, like a balloon. Yeah, uh, I really don't see many. I don't see tentacles. Oh my you know? goodness! I was wondering if he's. I don't. Oh, I don't see teens. I don't see tentacles. Uh. Uh, I don't know. It's in a little hot strange. air balloon. Yeah, it is a little hot air balloon. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, nice. I don't think any of these photos are going to come out the way I think they will. Yeah, it's almost like you can't. It's too transparent. It's I know. so We need like a darker background. Yeah. Not like that. Little, definitely not the photo. Thanks. Thanks for, for the footage of that. Good cat. I didn't see that. I'm not sure. Where uh, he flew from. right into a laser, and that's the only reason I saw him. That's amazing. <laughs> We can zoom in there, Bonus. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that squat lobster on the end is really, really cool. Excuse me. Oh, nice. So, uh, I never answered about the hydroids. Yeah, yeah. So it looks like, oh, I mean, this there? actually also looks like a hydroids. There's like a yellow looking. Um, so oh, hydroids yeah. the hydrozoa are also within the Cnidarians, like corals are and like jellies are. And they're co colonial organisms. And the different polyps within the whole hydrozoan colony cool. have different jobs. Some are responsible for feeding, some for reproduction. There we go. Some of them. Wow, what a good shot of this squat lobster. Paula's so, going to be so proud of us. If I remember, is, let's see in my book what I take note. I think the Muni. Munodopsidae. Look, look at them whiskers. <laughs> Antennae. Oh yeah, they can they can go into full on swimming mode too. I, I was gonna oh, say, I'd just wait till they fly. <laughs> I think I've seen footage of it long ago, but. Oh, look at them. They're beautiful. Look, they oh. go. It's waving at you, Steve. <laughs> 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 it's a stretch, yeah. stretching maneuver. <laughs> Very odd behavior. Uh, <laughs> Just saying hi, yeah. gosh. You guys. <laughs> the crinoid wave. Have you heard the, uh, the, the lobster squat up there? <laughs> lobster squat. <laughs> yeah, Steve's going to lead us in a round. Uh, do you want to uh, yeah, demonstrate <laughs> the lobster the squat? Point of the, watch. <laughs> the new yoga move. <laughs> yeah. So, as we continue to make our way up this unnamed seamount, we are at 1,772 meters. Oh, Pycnogonid. Colossendiid. In the family Colossendiidae. I think I might have put too many consonants in there. Or vowels. This is also known as a sea spider. Yeah. Uh, it really looks like a spider. And they yep. do they have do they actually have eight legs too? Uh, Raj? Yeah. Yeah, they are a little bit different. Uh, though, than your subaerial spiders. <laughs> <laughs> I could imagine, yes. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> he had a taste. <laughs> I, I only With apply it in the most opportune of moments. Oh, yeah. With great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> so they have tissues that cover their whole body. So they have no real gas exchange organs like for breathing. So all of the oxygen they obtain is through tissues via diffusion. 